Alright y'all, so I know the first 10 seconds of a video are the most important, especially given the subject matter. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of very trigger-happy individual snowflakes, if you will, that uh, might stumble upon this video. But uh, So the other day, I made a video about Joe Rogan and watching liberals like freak the fuck out over him saying something really banal. And the subject of this video is going to be a genuinely inquisitive quest to understand what the hell is going on with Joe Rogan Reply Guys. So this isn't the first time I've made a Joe Rogan video and my comments get flooded with dumb motherfuckers. Right, so I'm just going to like scan through a bunch of these in a moment here, but I'm really just, again, I'm really confused about, like, again, we need a complete and total shutdown on Joe Rogan Reply Guys until we can figure out what the hell is going on with these people, seriously. So, like, again, this is just, just my preface, because I'm sure a lot of people, I'm going to put Joe Rogan Reply Guys in the title, and I'm sure that's going to attract the certain segments of uppity, snowflakey alpha males who, like, think they're better than everyone else, but they're really not. So, like, okay, first of all, I should say this. The name of my show is Above It All. The name of my show is Above It All because I am literally above it all. I do not care about your bullshit. When you come to my channel and say, um, how dare you? Like, I don't care about you. Like, this is one of the things that I've been on YouTube for 10 years, right? Like, I do not and could not possibly take offense to anything you're going to write to me. So you can write out an essay about how I'm a sexual deviant who's obsessed with children or whatever, and that doesn't mean anything to me. However, I'm very, like, I treat YouTube comments, a lot of people tell me just don't read the comments, don't read the comments. I treat YouTube comments like a little miniature science experiment. Um, because I can make a video I can say whatever I want in that video, and that video is going to reach like a bunch of people that know nothing about me, that are extremely, like again, they have fragile egos, and they're obsessed with some podcaster. And this is the thing that I'm super, like, I don't understand here, is that it's like, it's not like I'm attacking them personally. I'm making a critique about a podcaster. Like, it's in the, the subject of the video here, right, is making fun of liberals. And when I say liberals, I mean Democrats. I mean, like, Pelosi people, like, freaking out, like, Bakari sellers. So the subject matter in this video is me making fun of liberals, right? And yet, somehow, because I don't like Joe Rogan, and I stipulate that in the beginning of the video that I don't like him, right? Because I say that, you have mountains of bizarre reply guys. And again, it's super weird, because I don't know what the Trump-Joe Rogan cross-section is. Like, I get these people every time I make Joe Rogan videos, and it, and I don't know if it's, like, only the Trump people that follow Joe Rogan are the people that, like, are reply guys for him. You know, like, I don't know. So I'm just going to, like, do, like, a slow scroll down here, and you can just read some of this if you want. Feel free to pause. But, like, again, it's just super strange to me how... Like, the, the mindset, and again, I treat this as a science experiment. So, like, the mindset of someone who goes on YouTube not to watch Joe Rogan videos, which he's got more than enough content, right? He puts out, like, three-hour podcasts, like, on a daily basis. I don't know. I don't watch his shit. But I know all of his podcasts are long as hell, right? So, he puts out all of these, real quick, real quick, real quick. I forgot I had that little thing on. One thing here that I noticed is that a lot of people will say things that don't apply to me. Like, look at this. I'm just browsing through YouTube to check out the outrage from the left. Congratulations, you are officially number one. I'll let you know if it changes. What does that mean? Like, is this person, like, do, are they, like... Are they talking to me or are they just like clicking a video and then just like posting that without even watching the video and then disliking and leaving? Like, I, I seriously, I, I, I don't understand like who, like when someone writes something like that, who are they talking to? Because like nothing in my video would project any sort 
of subject matter for them to get that out it's just bizarre right like it's 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 truly bizarre like okay and this is another thing you're attacking a democrat for opting to vote republican am i like i i that's not what my video's about. In fact, I actually, the the video is saying how that's problematic. Like, not personally attacking him, but I'm saying that Democrats don't understand that Biden is not electable. So this has nothing to do with my video. And this is where it get, gets to me. Like, instead of watching Joe Rogan content, these people will search Ooh, who's talking about Joe Rogan today? Ooh, let me see on the internet who's talking about Joe Rogan so I can correct the record on my favorite podcaster with millions of viewers, right? Like, it's bizarre. It's bizarre, right? And then you have this person. So what about that is not libtarded? What what does that mean? Again, this is a guy that's left, like, replies on almost all of my comments, right? Like, you can scroll up, and you can see them here. They wrote, like, fucking 30 comments here. And again, I'm not even reading all this shit. But it's just, I see the same name pop up on my email inbox, and I go, like, okay. And I didn't, I have literally not read this comment until now. So it's, you're attacking a Democrat for opting to vote Republican. Again, that's not what the video's about. Right? Like, that's not what the... Like, you can look at the title, right? And then it's like... Like, that's not what the video's about. Like, just watch the video. It's super weird, right? What about that is not libtarded? I mean, you're obviously a demon rat of sorts. Like, I literally say in the video that I don't like Democrats. So, again, this is bizarre. It's, 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 it's super bizarre. And then, of course, they do the whole, you did get a half a sex change, and that's a demon rat thing. SJWFTL. What? SJ, faster than light? Is this like a sci-fi novel, right? Like, what? Like, so, okay, so here's my my un like here's my guess as to what these people are doing they will do like ah oh, who's talking about joe rogan today oh i just drank my protein shake and i'm gonna go check out who's who's talking bad about my favorite podcaster and then they see that like i'm you know i guess i'm trans sometimes like people can visibly see that i have people say that they don't know i'm trans and they watch my videos for months and yet i have people that i don't know i, I have no idea what these people do i think that republicans and right-wingers are like they have this whole every woman on the internet is secretly a man thing because i see this prop like plop up all over the place with like cis women they'll say oh that's a train yo look at that look at that you can tell like and it's like where's waldo with people's anatomy and it's super bizarre right so i think that they see that within like the first five seconds right like let's just go like oh second 41 let me write my comment and again this is a guy who wrote stupid comments and has been continuously replying to almost every comment so they go back to this video that they didn't even watch and just like flood it with comments and it's bizarre again it's bizarre it's super bizarre and then you have like people like this who like this is like I guess normally asking the thing. So I, I will just stipulate this so that you understand. It's transphobic to say that like trans women in sports are biological men because that's not how biology works. Like the what is there is literally no such thing as a biological man, especially when someone is on feminizing hormones, especially if they've been on feminizing hormones since age like 18 or especially if they've been on them for 5 plus years. Like again, these people don't know anything. They don't know anything about transgender people right it's all reactionary snowflakey garbage right and that's what the problem is because these people right like these people have such an innate fear and hatred of something they don't understand that as soon as like oh no they said something about joe rogan oh my god oh no the sjw's are faster than light guys like and it's super bizarre it's super like again Men are biologically stronger across women across the board. First of all, that's not English. Second of all, again, comparing cisgender men to transgender women to cisgender women 
each person, and not to mention that there are, of course, there's an example of a cisgender woman who has too much testosterone, and she got kicked out of a sport league because her testosterone was too high. She didn't take any drugs. It's just she naturally has high testosterone. So, like, these are, first of all, sports are completely arbitrary. Like, it's not like God came down from the heavens and said, let there be lacrosse. Like, it's not like that's a thing, right? And this is what is so bizarre to me, is they make these super epic, like, like comments. Like, like they don't understand anything about hormone therapy. They don't understand how that changes someone's physiology. Like, physiology. Physiology. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I fucked up. But, like, for example, I've been on hormones for nearly three years, right? I can barely open a fucking gallon of milk, let alone, like, play fucking lacrosse or, like, fucking MMA. And, like, 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 if I were to get into a fight with literally anybody, I would lose. That's why I carry weapons with me when I leave the house, because I am not physically skilled. But it's one of those things where it's like, I started hormones at age 21. Most of my fucking masculinizing hormones didn't really do all the jobs that they were supposed to be doing. Because, again, these people don't understand anything about biology. They always, they use these buzzwords, like, biological, it's like family values. It doesn't mean anything, right? Like, it doesn't mean anything. And that's really the problem here, is, like, this guy's writing a fucking article that I'm not even reading because like the first fucking sentence is illiterate and isn't even remotely true. So if the first sentence is not true and they're going to write an article based on the first sentence, then clearly like it's not worth reading the article, right? But like, again, it's super bizarre. And again, these are people that like, how did you find the video, right? It's like, okay, honestly, it's people like you that brought me to the right, capital right. It's super weird, right? And again, like, this is like, it's just like, I treat this as a science experiment. Like, what? Like, okay, so this litmus test, when it comes to comma, not being able to make a off comment for someone somewhere, wait, not make a off comment or someone somewhere finds something offensive turns you into a heretic. What does that mean? Like, again, there's so much projection here. Like, it's not like Joe Rogan said, like, <laughs> and then, like, she went into the men's bathroom and that was funny. Or, like, it's like, like, you can make jokes about trans people. I do it all the fucking time. But it's one of those things where if you're going to go on your fucking podcast 20 times, there's, like, clip after clip of him saying that biological men shouldn't be able to compete in women's sports, which, again, that doesn't mean anything. Like, biology is the study of life, not the study of seeds. Like, like you don't, like, look, when you're studying plant life, you don't study, like, seeds or spores. Like, yep, that's biology. When the life started, it was a spore hovering in the atmosphere. That's the study of biology, right? It's, like, it's bizarre. It's the study of of life it's and life lives and again it shows it's super bizarre to use terms like biological man to refer to someone who started feminizing hormones at age 16 who's been on them for 15 years like that is not a biological man by literally any stretch of the imagination so it's super bizarre and then of course they have this internal combat like they like a war veteran for ptsd so whenever they see the term trans they're automatically like oh the demon rats where are the demon rats and we need to get the holy water for the demon rats and it's like what? Like, like, who said that Joe Rogan is a heretic? Like, the, the, the fundamental, like, synthesis that I'm making in the video is that he's a barometer of everyday people, and everyday people are fucking stupid, right? So, like, if he's a barometer of stupid people, and stupid people are the majority... That's that's my thesis. But I, I like again, I'm not saying he's a heretic sent from hell who's trying to like so it's it's super weird. If I want a strict religious dogmatic cult, I am sure there are more lenient options ATM than the left. Like what? And again my response here is like who do you think you're talking to? Because again, this doesn't apply to me. So it's like I didn't even read this response. So seeing as you called Rogan transphobic and people who don't wait. And people who don't want more tax, psycho, what? 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 Like, seriously, it's, like, it's biz, what? People that don't want more tax? What? Like, I, I, like, 
this is a human being. Like, this is one of those things where, again, I'm already making a 15-minute video, and I, this might even be longer than 15 minutes, because I didn't even get to the best comment yet. I have, like, one comment that I thought was utterly bizarre that motivated me to do this whole video, and I didn't even get to that part yet. So, But it's one of those things where, like, again, when I made this video about the ums and ah thing, like, I treat these things as, like, science experiments, right? Like, these are real human beings that are so utterly trapped within some internet manufactured culture war thing that like their interactions with every person, every person that they ever see, their interactions with them are tainted. Like imagine going on a first date with someone and like you're talking about fucking, I don't know, you're talking about like, oh, how your friend is, you know, trans and like, you know, they got beat up on the street or something. And your immediate reaction is like, oh my God, Joe Rogan reply video. Oh my God, you're a demon rat. I need to get out. Like, like imagine, right? Like, like what? You know what I mean? Like what? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it, it, it's bizarre, these people. Like, again, they know nothing about me. They didn't even watch the video I made. They didn't even watch the video, so it's all clear projection, right? Like, and they just get mad to the point where they will debate me for hours and hours and hours replying to comments for days on end. And it's like, they don't even know anything about me. You know, it's super bizarre, right? Like, it's super, super duper bizarre. So, like, again, it's like if you were to walk up to a random person on the street, like, say they've got, like, a, a red streak in their hair, like, they, like, you know, like, they have a highlight in their hair, and you just, like, you're, they're on the street, you know nothing about them, and you just, like, push them over, it's like, you're an SJW, you're a demon rat, like, oh my god, how dare you, you're trying to put me into a cult, now, you're, oh, how dare you say, Joe, I'm not transphobic, you're just a demon rat, and it's like, what? You know, like, these, like, what? Right? Like, these are real people. Anyway, so it's at the bottom. But I have the best comment. I'm just going to get to this now. I took a screenshot of it. It's a little blurry um, because I'm a technologically illiterate dumbass, and I don't know where it is on this, and I'm not going to sit here and look for it because, like, there's, like, this thread with 70 replies, and I'm not even really in the thread. It's, like, two Joe Rogan fanatics talking to each other. I don't know. Let's look at newest first. Maybe it's in there. I don't know how this thing works. Like, it's super bizarre. Like, and there's, like, again, if there's, like, one of the other things that's super fascinating to me is, like, you will have people simultaneously saying, like, oh, it's not transphobic to say that biological men shouldn't be allowed to play MMA, right? Like, okay, that's your thesis. But then they'll, like, call me, like, a fucking he, she dude. And it's, like, that kind of, like fundamentally kind of goes against your thesis right if your whole thesis is it's not hateful to say scientific facts and then you follow it up with like literal bigoted garbage like it doesn't like again it's super bizarre it's super bizarre so like again it's one of my things where it's like i really hope that joe rogan has like a dedicated like night like every thursday he's like hmm, let me go look up videos about myself and look at the comments because like i really just don't understand what motivation there would be for any person out there on planet earth to be a like look at this guy like they're just responding to me over and over again and like watched eight seconds so this person admits that they watched eight seconds and yet they spend hours trying to talk to me it's you know like again it's it's one of those things where if you watch eight seconds like and then you're gonna like you should see a therapist like yeah would you like to pay for it but it's just like it's bizarre it's like it's super bizarre so let me find this one that had like 69 replies i think it was literally 69 and not look at the screenshot version because uh you know it's just it's bad and youtube like whenever you get like a lot of comments youtube just this is why i hate youtube comments like i said i am open to all debate challenges if you want to add me on discord and have like a 10 hour conversation with me i'm open to that i should just start all of my videos with that when i mention something that joe rogan reply guys might look up but like seriously like it's super bizarre it's super duper bizarre like, I, like, and, and again, I'm just, like, I'm I'm sitting here, like, trying to wrap my mind around it. Like, again, it's just bizarre. Like, and, and I say this word often because it, it, I literally can't understand it. Like, I lit, like, when you see a video, you watch eight seconds and then you spend hours trying to attack this person, right? It's just, it's, it's weird. It's just like, like, I, 
I can't understand. Okay, here it is. Here it is. 71 replies. I think that's because I responded after I saw it. 71 replies. So this is Jessica. I've known Jessica for a few years now. They're like an old school fan of mine. So like, it's just one of those things where like, you leave a sarcastic comment, right? Of course, like I said at the beginning of this video, above it all, it's like, it's, it's like, it, like you have to have a, any sense of sarcastic understanding of humor to get above it all. It means I'm better than you, which yes, in this context, I am literally literally better than these people and I and I say that with complete sincerity if you dedicate hours of your life looking up Joe Rogan videos not to watch the videos but to argue in the comments about things you don't understand I mean like I'm sorry but like I'm better than you like and I, and I say that again with complete sincerity like you are a waste of time and effort but like so this person Jessica writes like a joke and as you can see they're doing the cute emoji thing like it's just it's clearly obvious but you have this Jason Strom who's like again it's like uh, what is like again look at this look at this like <laughs> like like again like read this and then they have like these essays like they're writing literal articles Right? Like, they're writing, like, fucking novelizations of their thoughts and feelings. Like, these are their life memoirs. Like, Jessica writes something that's just sarcastically making fun of them. And they write two novels. Like, look at this. Like, what? Like, what the fuck? Like, and again, I'm not reading any of this. I'm not reading any of this. I didn't even read Jessica's responses. I just liked them because it made them mad. But, like, seriously, it's, like, it's bizarre. So then this other guy who I mentioned before, this Mike guy, they just, like, what? Like, they just start talking to each other. And this is the thing where, like, it's like getting, it, like, I mentioned, like, in, 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 up in the comments that it's, like, NPCs in Skyrim like how sometimes they just start walking into the wall and there's nothing you can do and here we got two of them to talk to each other now I'm going to give you a little bit of lore back in the day when I was 15 16 17 I used to do prank calls and one time one time I was with my buddy on Skype and we did prank calls and we were prank calling sex workers and again I was 15 16 17 I was dumb now I have a very, like, very high appreciation for these people. But we were, we were prank calling sex workers on Backpage, right? And again, you can hate me for this. There's a little story of stupid shit I did when I was a teenager. And a one, we had an idea where we were going to call a sex worker, tell them that we were going to call them back, and then call another sex worker, give them their number, and then have them meet each other. Like, that was the idea we had. So, and, and I'm likening it to this because it's like, we, I couldn't, I make a video and then all of a sudden, a few minutes later, you have these two individuals just talking to each other and it creates a lot of content, right? Like, it's like playing The Sims and you create two Sims and they just start interacting with each other and then you don't have to do anything. You just sit and watch. So like, again, like, like, what the fuck? Common theme from cyber thing. Absolutely agree with you. This person is ignorant, arrogant, and unfortunately will never truly understand humility. Like, again, it's called a joke. Like, if, if you think that me saying I'm above it all is serious, then uh, again, like, I thought the right wing was supposed to be the party of humor. Oh, the left, the demon rats will call you a heretic. But you made a joke, therefore you're a hair. It's like, it's super bizarre, right? And again, I'm sitting here for 23 minutes analyzing stupid comments, and I haven't even gotten to the best part. Humility will set you free. It will change your life 100%. What? Like, like again, these are like real people. Okay, oh my god. Hashtag SJW triggered. Hashtag only two genders. Like, again, what does that mean? Like, again, if you're talking to a binary trans woman, I used to be a man, and then I transitioned to a woman. What does saying only two genders even, like, what does that mean there? Right? Like, that's like, you go to, like, a Medicare for all conversation, and you start talking about, like, you know, like, there's no such thing as climate change. CO2 is actually good for the atmosphere. And it's like, First of all, you're an idiot. But second of all, this is a conversation about Medicare for all. Like, like it's like you go to like third grade math class, and then all, and then you just start talking about like, actually, they was never a word for singular people. They never existed. It's only plural. And it's like, dude, this is math class. Like, what are you talking about? So it's like it's super bizarre. 
Like, again, because these people, they don't think about things. They are literally NPCs. Like, it, you put in, like, oh, I see a transgender person existing. Well, there's only two genders. Like, it's like, what? You know, like, it's bizarre. It's super bizarre, right? Like, it's, it's like in the same way that, like, if you're hungry and someone gives you a sandwich, your instinctual reaction is to eat the sandwich, right? Like, assuming it's a family member, not someone trying to poison you or whatever, like, no other, no other context, right? Like, your wife, your husband makes you a sandwich because you're hungry. You, when you have that sandwich in your hand, right, like, your mouth starts to water a little bit, you know, like, you, your hand just kind of goes up to your mouth. It's like with these people. It is like an instinctual NPC script. It's like, okay, there's a trans person. Only two genders like what like the whole point of being a trans woman is that i transition from one gender to another so in what like what like what does that mean like it's super bizarre right it's super bizarre like it's super bizarre so like i just pop in and then i just say like please do go on I love when morons waste their time writing comments. I don't read about subjects I don't understand and refuse to research. Again, I'm not reading all this. I read like one of, this is the first time I read only two genders and I'm baffled. Like I'm, this is a bizarre moment in human history right now. And then they like, they both start talking to me. And then like, again, like I, what the fuck? Like these people are literally having like, like these are like, you know, like childhood friends who were separated for 80 years and they're like 93 years old. And then like they're writing to each other as pen pals and you make like a cute little like lifetime documentary about it. Like that's what this reminds me of. It's like, what the hell are they talking about? Like Siri, it's bizarre. And then like, I, okay, so let me get to the best part. I'm just trying to find the best part. And I, she's like, again, there's 71 replies here. Oh my God. Okay, so this is where it gets really funny. Okay, so I, I read this one. Oh, I'm extremely well equipped to deal with the net. And the net. I'm sorry. I'm extremely well equipped to deal with the net. And whether it exists or one day crashes, I'm perfectly... The net crashes? Like... Again, like, these, these are words that don't mean anything. This is like when Bernie Sanders was on the debate stage saying, go to the YouTube. It's like, you can tell, like, he's trying to understand what these newfangled technologies are, but he doesn't fully get it, right? This is like, like, is this guy, like, 80 years old? Like, they're, they don't look 80 in their profile picture. Oh, I'm going to go to the net and whether it exists or if it crashes, I'm perfect. Like, it crashes? Like, like, first of all, and what is this bizarre, like, situation that they're concocting, like, where the internet's gonna crash, whatever the fuck that means. Like, and, and, and that effect, like, it's bizarre. And I'm perfectly fine with both my, m both, and my middle name may as well be sarcasm. Yet you get deeply offended at someone saying that they're better than you on the internet in a video you didn't watch. Like, again, it's, it's bizarre. But you, on the other hand, seem to live, this is where it gets weird. You seem to live off of your sexual identity, identity, I didn't even notice that, as shown in this video, which isn't funny no matter how you, which, no matter which way you swing. Oh God, there's more? Okay, I'm not reading that part. So again, what does, the, I seem to live off of my sexual identity, or identity, sorry? What does that mean? And I, I mean, I mean that sincerely, right? Like, I, like, for anyone that watches this video or any of my other videos, right, like, have I ever mentioned my sexual identity? Have I ever, like, do you even know if I like men, women, both, neither? Like, do you know? Like, honestly, do you, like, tell me in the chat, in the comments right now, do you even know what I'm into? Do you know what, like, particular fetishes I have? No, because I never talk about this. I literally never. Like, I don't think there's any video that I've done in the last year that's even mentioned like what I'm sexually interested in. So again, it's like it's super bizarre stuff. And they're saying that my like not only like did do I not talk about my sexual like fetishes in this video, but like it's nowhere hinted on my entire channel. But they're not saying that I've talked about it. They're saying that my entire life revolves around my sexual identity, which is like 
what does that mean? Like, seriously, what does that mean? So I asked this person, dude, what the fuck does that mean? So this is what they respond. It means that 10 or more times within this short video, you brought up that you are trans. You live off of it. Okay, so they're conflating gender identity with sexual identity. And it's also one of those things where it's like, the video is about the topic of transphobia. So it's like, what? Like, again, every time I make a video that's like that, people, I get people going like, oh, I had no idea you were trans. That's cool. Or, you know, some people unsubscribe and say, oh, I had no idea you were a tranny. Ugh, freak, gross. So it's like one of those things where it's like, people, I literally never talk about it. I literally never talk about it. But when it's the subject, when it's what the video is about, and again, I'm saying I don't like Joe Rogan, but I still respect his audience. So again, I'm not even really attacking him. I'm just stating a fact. So it's like, it's bizarre. So I state it in a video about the subject. And that means that for this guy, I make, so I make one video about a subject relating to transphobia. That must mean all my videos. No, no. It says you make videos based on it. So I guess that's multiple videos now. You criticize others based upon it. I don't even know what that means. My politics are based upon it. What? Like, what does that mean? Like, again, I seriously just have no idea what this means. And then it says, here's a perfect example. I know everything about your sexuality. Again, I asked them. So I said, you know everything about my sexuality. Go on. Like, what is my sexuality? I know that you're trans and that's all that I need to know. It's like, what? Like, again, like, gender identity and sexuality are two different fucking words. Like, like... Like, does that mean all women are automatically 100% heterosexual and are attracted to men and will only procreate in missionary position? Because that's their, that's their, right? Like, that's their gender identity. So therefore, you know what they like in the bedroom. Like, it's bizarre. It's, again, these people don't know basic English. And I'm sitting here for half an hour now. What am I doing with my life? But again, this is what I like to do. I, this is one of my favorite parts about making videos is I get these people that will dedicate literally hours, if not days of their lives. Like I had that Owen Smith guy who like sent me the message about ums and uhs. I made a video about it and he was like spamming me. He made like a fucking Twitter account to like harass me and post like edits of my videos. And I thought they were really funny. And then when I said that they were really funny, he deleted the Twitter account. Oops, right? And then they like signed me up for like a bunch of shit on my email. And it's like, like, the fact that I can generate this kind of reaction from someone for literally no reason, I, like, like, look at this. This is a 70, and then they start talking to each other like they're old pals, and it's like, what the fuck, right? Like, it's super bizarre, and there's even more. Like, I'm just going to scroll down. That was the most bizarre one. But it's like, this is like something, uh, I guess that's the end of it. This is like something I might do more often. It's like, like, analyzing super bizarre comments and again like seriously what the hell is going on with joe rogan reply guys it's weird it's baffling it's bizarre and i'm sure there's going to be even more on this video like i'm sure like jason and mike are just going to pop on my video and talk about my sexual identity and even though i talked about my sexual identity i still didn't even tell you what my sexuality even is like unless you followed me for years and years you don't even know what my sexuality is like i'm just like i like and i, and I challenge you i challenge you anyone who's watched my videos in any capacity for the past like five months or whatever tell me what is my sexuality i i would love to know i would love if you could tell me my sexuality because apparently jason has got all he needs to know while knowing literally zero percent of it so like i you know again it's like it just let me know what you think my sexuality is if you've watched this video and it's just like again this is super bizarre stuff like and again i treat these people like science experiments there's going to be more on this video, I hope. This is one of the best parts about making videos. So there's a lot of people that will say like, don't feed the trolls. Oh, the trolls, the trolls. Why would you not feed the trolls? Like if you can get someone to literally dedicate hours of their life to arguing in a comment section for a video they didn't even watch on a subject matter they literally don't understand basic definitions of that's a win like i'll take that as a fucking win i can get someone to dedicate hours of their life to me right like fuck yeah like sign me the fuck up right it's great and again i just like this is super bizarre stuff so again if you have any sort of understanding if you can provide any sort of thesis to understanding these these human beings let me know because again i would love to assemble a team of scientists and like take jason and take mike put them in like a big maze and see if they can find the cheese because i don't know if they could find the cheese i seriously don't 
And, like, the whole, like, you know, NPC theory, I get it, pseudo-speciation, it's demoralizing, it's dehumanizing, and it does create, like, a sense of, like, I used to, unironically, when I was, like, a libertarian, when I was 16, I was reading Richard Dawkins, and I was like, there's no way, there's no way that this, like, the people that are, like, around me are the same, like, there's, they don't have the same human capacities of me, and that's what I thought was funny about Above It All, because it's, like, channeling that, like, better than you libertarian atmosphere and i just think it's fucking hilarious and then you have these people that say oh no one is better than anybody but i am better than you and it's like that's the whole point of this video series is that like people that would get offended like they have like a moral like like offense like they're snowflakey like and they get mad are the same people that unironically think that they're better than you. And that's like the, the icing on the shit sandwich here. And I just, again, this is super bizarre stuff. So again, if you have any sort of synthesis that you can provide for how, like what the hell is going on with Joe Rogan reply guys, if you can like analyze some of these comments and if, and again, like, okay, let me read this. I haven't even, this is just on the screen, right? You have zero clue. Seriously. That's what woke means. Clueless, ignorant, uneducated. SJW space dot 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 facts not feelings like this is not even English like this person's not speaking in a, in a coherent English form and the facts say you're wrong about what who is this person responding to tell how much you won to your grandchildren when they don't have a planet to live on why no wait wait okay so this person just says like a, a little meme comment and this guy like you can look over the course of at least an hour, you must be woke. Like, you want so... Like, again, what compels a human... I didn't even see this before, and now I'm starting on the train again. What compels a human to do this? Oh, they didn't respond. It's been 20 minutes. Let me just post another article. How long is this? Okay, so it's not that long. All right, they didn't respond. It's been another 10 minutes. Let me post more. Good to see the bots have come out to play. What? All right, no one responded. Ha ha! LMFAO, good job, woke ass. They didn't like. They didn't respond to you, dude. Like, get over it. It's pathetic. It's bizarre, and it's pathetic. And I just, I really like. Again, if you're a scientist, if you're like know anyone who's a scientist or like a medical professional, uh, like anyone like that, let that like hook me up with them. I would love to just. Ask them if they're willing to do like a 30 minute to an hour long interview. And I would love to just talk to a professional psychiatrist about what the hell is going on with Joe Rogan Reply Guys. Because seriously, there is some shit going down. And I just, I would love to know what the hell it is. Because this is some weird ass shit. America first. You really are ignorant if you think Schumar, Pelosi, and Schiff actually give a demon rat's ass about you. Again, like, I, whoa, who the fuck? <sighs> Yo, I, I again, I'm maybe thinking too much into this, but Jesus Christ, it is bizarre. This is super weird stuff. And I, I, Jesus, 37 minutes of my life, I wasted trying to analyze, and I don't even know what I'm analyzing. Like, again, these aren't humans. Like, these have to be computer programs. Like, I'm starting to maybe buy into the Russia propaganda, because there's no way these people are real humans, right? Like, there's no way... That these people, like, wake up in the morning, like, pour themselves a bowl of cereal and, like, watch fucking TV or YouTube, right? Like, there's no way that these people have anything in relating in relation to me, right? Because there's just, like, the, like, the brain is such a powerful apparatus capable of so many complex, cal like, calculations. And yet, this is what the brain does? And the facts say you're wrong. Again, you want to live in a socialist land? Who's even talking about this? Like, What? Like, only two, like, uh, uh, Jesus, I, I don't even, I, I don't, Trump Owens 2020, I'm sorry, I, like, I, this, like, what the fuck, like, uh, I give up.